Special education is provided to students who have needs that can't be met within their regular classroom. So for San Joaquin County special education programs, we provide the services to our districts that aren't able to provide that resource of continuum of services. So the nursing department that serves special education for San Joaquin County Office of Education is a team of four school nurses, six LVNs, and five health aides. And we provide all of the procedures, medical care that is needed for students to attend school. We're mandated by the state of California to obtain doctor's orders for any kind of medication, procedures like G-tube feedings, tracheostomies, any type of medical care that's needed for a student to attend school. And we work as a team to cover all of the sites and we have uh, over 100 classes in our special education department and they're located all over the county. We generally do the procedures, um, we do first aid, we help clear new students to start in our program, reviewing their immunizations, reviewing their medical information sheet that they complete, and if there's anything that needs to be brought up to the school nurse's attention, via the, they need a care plan or they need orders for procedures, then we get bring it to the school nurse's attention. Our LVNs provide that on the boots ground service to that student. They're the ones that are sitting with the student as they're doing the G-tube feedings and talking with them and really caring for them as an individual. So they are that caretaker in the classroom. It feels great to have Pam in my classroom. When Pam walks in, she always says hi to everybody. The kids, you know, they all kind of know her. They know that she's there to help. They, they know that she's a fun person. Um, they'll wave to her. And it's just always a great atmosphere when Pam's in there because she's just so cheery and, and full of, of love and <laughs> always wanting to just be positive. Pam is um, has been a nurse for over 30 years. She's an LVN and she's a fabulous LVN. She had a very long history working in a, a pediatrician's office for many, many years before she came to the County Office of Ed. She used that expertise that she had with all those children in the pediatric office to then transfer that care to our students. One of my students uh, needs to be fed by, by G2. So she'd get a little squirmish and a little squeamish and, um, you know, kind of move around and she would just get in there and, oh, watch what's going on in circle. Nurse Pam's just going to hook you up. We're just going to get you. She'd sit behind her, not try to interact, you know, interrupt any of the other kids, interrupt the circle, be real calm and quiet, get her hooked up as good as she can. And then she just goes about her day, moves on. And the it's, it's seamless, um, you know, it's really, once the kids get to know her and they know what she's there for, she's able to just kind of pop in, be in the background, do what she needs to do and move on and the kids are still in the environment doing the activity that they were doing. Pam is a naturally caring person. Pam's able to demonstrate that by how she treats all of our students with dignity, all their families with dignity. She is comforting and loving and will take kids on their lap and she buys special cartoon band-aids to make sure that they feel comfortable or stickers so that when the nurse has to come see them they get a sticker. You know she does that those little extra things that make our children feel loved and she does that for staff too it makes our staff feel loved. She is the best LVN that any county office or any school district could have and we are so blessed to have her as being part of our team. I enjoy seeing um, their improvement. You never know what direction they're going to head. And just that little bit of improvement is exciting to see. And I love seeing the progress that they make from the time they're in preschool. Even though uh, a layperson might say, oh, that's not, you know, they're not doing much, but they've come a long ways. It's giving, you know, um, the praise to the teachers and the support staff everyone that working together has made these kids either become successful when they get older so that they could possibly do a little more independence or just have a, um, a, a life that was filled with joy while they were at school. When we were doing our vaccination clinic, Pam stayed way beyond anyone's hours to make sure that she was meeting the needs of the community. And that's just one instance of Pam showing how she thinks of the community first. She has been somebody in, in my eyes that has helped me learn and grow. 
And um, when I first started here, I um, was a little nervous with kids having seizures. I wasn't used to that. I came from an autism background. And um, I remember crying one day when I seen one of my child having a seizure and Pam just sat down next to me and she put her arm around me and she said, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I know it's scary, I know it's sad, but you know, this is what we're gonna do for this child. We're just gonna talk to them. And she showed me how to interact with the kids and just, you know, lay with them. So when I heard that she was gonna be the, the employee of the year, I wanted to do everything that I could to help her. She deserves the recognition um, for all the little things that she does that nobody knows about, but yet makes everyone feel special and makes our department run smoothly. And I'm so proud to be her friend and to be her supervisor and to have the whole world know what a wonderful nurse she is. Sorry. I'm so proud for the whole world to know what a wonderful nurse she is.